Crazy Crab in the house, and today I got some breaking news, and uh, you heard it here first, well maybe you didn't hear it here first, but this is not happening, ladies and gentlemen. Blade is not, not going to be Muslim. This is a fake story. This is a fake tweet. It has no substance to it. There's no sources behind it. I don't believe it for a second. And I'm going to get into why this is just crap. And everyone, all of us who are making videos and responding and getting outraged about it, I think we need to take a step back and calm down. We don't want to be part of the outrage culture that just gets mad at stuff that's not even real. So let's not be part of that culture. Because as likely as this might sound when you first read it, because the way Hollywood and Disney has behaved, the way that they are casting everyone as who's not a minority, they're making them a minority. If they're not gay, they're making them gay. They're just doing everything they can. They're taking it a step further and a step further and a step step further like anytime if they feel like they can get away with it and people aren't gonna be mad they gotta take it a step further like with 007 they made 007 there were there were rumors that it might be cast as a black actor and most people myself included were like okay let's see what you got I mean cool whatever I mean cuz he's been played by various different roles different actors over the years maybe it would be cool maybe it would reinvigorate the franchise if you get a really badass cool looking guy if black or white but if you want to get a black guy and you think he can do it I'm all for it. Go for it. Because uh, 007 has gone through lots of different phases. No problem. And uh, I think that uh, they're like, oh crap, people aren't getting upset. People aren't outraged about this. Okay, let's make it a black woman. Okay, now let's see how that works out. Okay, and then uh, are people getting angry? Yeah, now people are starting to get a little annoyed by that. Absolutely. But if we weren't getting a little annoyed by that, maybe they'd make her into a lesbian woman and see how annoyed people get. And then if that doesn't work out, we'll make her into a trans 007, black 007. Who knows? Who knows? They'll keep going on and on and on, right? So I understand why you read this. You're like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It must be true. It's on Twitter. And it sounds like something they would do. But I could definitely see somebody coming up with this idea. I can see at the table where they're coming up with ideas for the new Blade. Someone saying, hey, I got an idea. Let's make him Muslim. And someone else at the table goes, absolutely. Because this is the kind of thing that they, that they think about. They think about you know religion. They think about skin color. They think about sexual orientation. They don't think about, hey, let's make this plot. That would be really cool. Let's make this. Hey, I got an idea for a twist in the movie. That would be really awesome. Um, no, it's all about the things I just mentioned. So I could see them coming up with this idea. But to actually approve the idea and put it in the movie and film the movie with him as a Muslim while, like it says, and I'll read the tweet, apparently Marvel is changing Blade's backstory so he can be the MCU's first Muslim character. Blade, the angry brown-skinned man who cuts off people's heads with a sword. That's who they chose to represent Muslims. LOL. They're not going to do that because Muslims are going to freak out. I would assume most Muslims would not appreciate it. And most supporters and protectors of Muslims would not appreciate it. It's not going to be like, you know, the Black Little Mermaid where, yeah, some black people were definitely offended, but a lot of black people appreciated it and they thought it was a good move and they thought they deserved to have more representation as the princesses. And I do agree there should be more princesses that are black, but I just thought, why not create some more instead of, I felt like, jumping on the bandwagon, jumping on a character who's already been established and already hugely popular, already has millions of fans for 30 years and just taking her and then painting her, her black. And I just thought it just felt insulting to me, but I'm not black, so I guess I can't really speak on it too much. I made a video on it. Some people were mad about it. It's fine. That being said, Disney, Hollywood will see how far they can go with things. But this is one that's just not possible. I do not think that the Muslim people would appreciate it. I think there would be a major shitstorm. I think that it would just be just something that cannot be done. And it wouldn't work in the movie. If you try to think about it rationally and think how that would happen in the movie, how he could be Muslim and actually act Muslim as would be a respectful way to represent Muslims and not an insulting way to represent Muslims, I don't see it. I don't see how that would be even possible. In fact, it's not possible. And due to the fact that there's absolutely no substance behind this tweet, it's just a random tweet by some random person. I mean, I could put out a tweet too. I guess that it could get a bunch of traction because uh, I'd like to get a thousand plus retweets and 6,000 plus likes. Maybe all I got to do is put out a tweet and say it's been announced the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie is in development now and he's going to be gay and he's going to be recast as black. And let's just wait for the responses. Is that going to work? I have no idea because if... <laughs> That was, that's probably more possible. What I just said is more possible than this. 
there's no way they can make Blade Muslim. If you know about how people freak out over being, you know, whether you're a, a Islamophobe and all that stuff, this is just too risky for Disney and Marvel to try. I, I, there's no, there's no way. And due to the fact, again, no evidence, no articles, nothing official at all. You know, I know Disney puts out fake stuff. No, not fake, but they put out little things just to see the reaction. I don't think this is it. This was just a random person. I don't know if this was the original. Like, I, I'm not sure if this was the first one. Let's take a look at some of the reactions here. Stan Lee is turning in his grave. Not really, because Stan Lee probably in his grave um, realizes that this is bullcrap. This is not really happening. A female Thor. Apparently that's happening. A black female 007. Apparently that's happening. And a Muslim blade. No real evidence of this yet. Phantom says this is clearly BS. There's no director, writers, producers, etc. There's only the starring actor. No release date, no plot details. Hell, there's no script. No possible way you or anyone could know this. Stop lying to people like this. It ain't funny. Exactly. Because it's not happening. It's not true. And we want to freak out and say, oh, this is so stupid. Which, it is so stupid if it was true. But it's not true. So, just, just use a little bit of common sense every once in a while. We know this ain't happening. All this stuff is crap. Even here, is this just a rumor? Vito, the guy who posted this, says, I think so. Then why spread it like the truth? Because he's a comedian. The real twist will be he's actually trans. That whole time he was actually a whammon. Perhaps it's not wokeness, but the two look a lot alike, except Ali is slightly lighter. Okay, they look a lot alike, so in that case, it's a good, possibly a good casting decision, and he's not going to be Muslim because this is made up. This is crap. They just put out a tweet. Like I said, I'm going to put out my uh, tweet about the new Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, that he is now going to be gay and black, and he is going to have a gay lover, which will be, actually, better yet, he won't be black. Obi-Wan Kenobi will be, Ewan McGregor will be back as Obi-Wan Kenobi, but he is going to be cast as gay, and he will have a black lover, a black lover, so they'll be, uh, maybe it'll even be uh, Lando, maybe it'll even be Lando, and that way there'll be a, a biracial relationship, a gay relationship, and we'll have some black representation as well, because we'll have um, uh, Lando there as his boyfriend, and he'll be Muslim as well. So I have a great idea, and I'm going to put out that tweet a little bit later, and we'll see how much traction it gets. Crazy Crab out.